Good, happy Friday morning and happy TGIF everyone and welcome to Good Morning New Hampshire. Let's get started. Water bands enacted in three New Hampshire towns. The hot, dry weather in New Hampshire is already forcing some communities to put water restrictions in place. Campton home built in 1800s destroyed by fire. Officials in Campton are investigating a fire that ripped through a home on Perch Pond Road early Wednesday morning. Suspected purse snatcher at Claremont Supermarket arrested. Police in Claremont arrested a Lebanon man Wednesday after he... A woman was robbed in the parking lot of Hannaford Supermarket. Republican Pro Clean Energy Issue Group praises Ayot as bipartisan leader in new TV ad. A pro Republican issue advocacy group focusing on clean energy and the environment is weighing into the U.S. Senate race with television ad promoting Senator Kelly Ayotte as bipartisan leader. Dirty Duncan, tray of dropped donuts sold to customers. An entire tray of donuts was accidentally dropped on the floor at a local Dunkin' Donuts, but it's what happened next that has people losing their appetite. Officials warn residents after several bear sightings in Manchester. Officials in Manchester are warning residents to be on the lookout for bears after one was spotted roaming the city. Hampton police officer thrown from motorcycle in crash. A Hampton police officer was injured in a crash on Thursday morning, according to New Hampshire State Police. Juicy streets, juicy sweet strawberries are ready for picking in New Hampshire. Plump, juicy, and red New Hampshire strawberry crops has been loving this hot, dry heat, and now the berries are ready for the picking at about 20 farms across the state. Republican candidate accuses Custer of politically posting by joining Democratic sit-in. Two Republicans vying for a second district U.S. House seat on Thursday accused Democratic incumbent Rep. Annie Custer of playing politics with the all important issue of keeping firearms out of the hands of terrorists. Senators reach deal on generically modified ingredient labeling. Senators have a bipartisan deal to require laboring of generically modified ingredients naturally on a week before labeling law in Vermont goes into effect. Recording played of a former police chief, woman who accused him of assault. A woman who accused a former police chief of sexually assaulting her continued her testimony Thursday as the jury had heard a recording of when she confronted him years later. Man testifies that target of Bedford home invasion picked randomly. An alleged accomplice of a man accused of attacking a Bedford couple in their home in 2012 testified Thursday about the event of that night. Epping woman accused of seriously injuring 18-month-old. An Epping woman has been charged with inflicting life-altering 
injuries on an 18-month child, child in her care. Firefighters hold special training year after fatal tent collapse. Firefighters from across the state trained Thursday on circus tent inspections and how to deal with collapses nearly a year after a father and daughter died in a tent collapse. Sanders says he will vote for Clinton. Bernie Sanders on Friday said he will cast his vote for Hillary Clinton in November. U.S. features tumble after U.K. vote to quit EU. David Cameron plans to resign. U.S. stock index feature tumble Friday as a result from Thursday's refundum showed the U.K. had voted to leave the European Union. Dow Joe features broke below and pulled open down more than 700 points overnight before pairing loses to show an implanned open declining of about 550 points. Wildfires rave, raves dozens of homes in Central California. Evacuations underway. A fast Moving wildfire in Central California has destroyed several dozen homes and forced hundreds of evacuations in rural communities in Kearney County Thursday. And now let's take a look at your weather. Here's a look at your radar right now. As you see on radar, it is all clear in New Hampshire. And now let's Take a look on your weather system. And on your weather system, your wind speed peak is 4 miles per hour. Average is 2. Current is 2, coming between west and northwest. Your temperature is 70 degrees. Your forecast is Partly cloudy, your pressure is 30.03. And now let's take a look at your next seven day forecast. And here's a look at your next seven day forecast. And now let's take a look at your traffic. And here's a look at your traffic right now. As you see, we're seeing a lot of green roadways, and we have a few yellow areas and a few red areas. Otherwise, traffic is moving pretty good on your Friday morning. And we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with more Good Morning New Hampshire. Don't go anywhere.